Welcome back to Hackcode. In this video, we'll be solving the lead code problem, much too sorrowless. We'll cover two different approaches to solve this problem. That is the iterative approach and the recursive approach. We'll also provide a detailed explanation, flowchart to visualize the algorithms, dry run and complexity analysis for each approach. Let's dive in. So here the problem statement is, you're given the heads of a two sorted list, list one and list two. So merge the two list into one sorted list. The list should be made by splicing together the nodes of the first two lists. Uh, and at the end, we have to return the head of the merge link list. So let's look at the examples here. Uh, in examples, we see that the list one is one, two, four, as we see here, and uh, list two is one, three, four. So we have to return the head of the merge link list. That is, we should be returning this one. So how did we arrive at this one? So basically, uh, we formed a sorted list out of these two lists. So uh, we have to compare the each node and uh, we have to form the merge list. So here we compare these two. So here since like one is same as like one equal to one here. So we can keep it in any order. It doesn't matter, but in our code we follow certain things. So here uh, one followed by one and then uh, the next smallest node is two among both node, uh, among both linked list. So we kept two and next is three followed by four and four. So similar in example two, uh, they are given the empty list. So list one and list two. So we should return the empty list only. So in example three, they have given the list one as an empty and list two as a only one node. So we should return the list two uh, because the combined one, we get only one uh, node, right? So list two, that's why we should return it. So constraints here, the number of nodes in both of the lists are in the enclosure range of zero to 50. So the node values in the enclosure range of minus 100 to uh, 100 and then both the third constant is both list one and list two are sorted in the non-decreasing order. That means it is sorted in ascending order. So this is the boilerplate code given. So let's dive into the approaches. So first is the recursive method. So here the base case is like if either list one or list two is empty, we should return the non-empty list. And then uh, the next thing is we have to compare the values of the current node uh, of list one and list two. This uh, like this after the base case. So and then we do recursively compare the rest of the list. So how for the current position at the list one, uh, we should check if the list one value is smaller uh, than the list two value. So if yes, we set the list one dot next to the result of the merge of the list of the link list one and list two. And then in the other case, if list two dot value is smaller. What we do is uh, we set the list two dot next to the result of merging list one and rest of the list two, and then at the end we should return the smaller node. So let's look at the flowchart here. So as we see here, we start uh, with by comparing like if list one is empty. If s yes, we return list two. If no, we check if list two is empty. If s yes, we return list one. So if this is not empty, then we process here. How do we process? We check if list one value is less than list two's value. If as we must list one dot next and list two, this is the rest of the list. Okay. And then uh, we set the list one dot next to the merge list and then we return the list one. So in the other case where like list one value is greater than list two's value, we set the like uh, in this case, we merge the list one and list two dot next. And then we set the list two dot next to the merge list. So at the end we return the list two. So let's do the dry run here. So here uh, we start with like merge two list like this is the like basic method call. So this list one and list two basically we, uh, like we pass the like current element in the each list. Here we pass the like first and uh, like for the list one the first uh, node is uh, one uh, and the second uh, for the second list the first node is two. So we pass like uh, these two to the like merge two list method and then we uh, here we comparing right if one less than two that is true here so here we point one to the merge of the two lists so here why are we passing three two like as we discussed we have to pause the like next element because this is already processed right so uh, we uh, basically send the list one dot next that is three and then uh, in the second list uh, we send like same element like which is two so this is match list three comma two and then so uh, we arrive at the next comparison now so we check if three less than two it's false right so two should point to the merge list of the three comma four how do we get three point uh, three dot uh, how do we get three comma four here uh, we send like three 
and 2 dot next so here 2 dot next is 4 so that's why uh, we send 3 comma 4 so next we have the comparison where 3 less than 4 these two right so here in this case it's 2 so 3 should point to the uh, merge of the 5, 3 dot next and like 4 this one this comparison list and then uh, we check now if 5 less than 4 this false right so 4 should point to the merge of 2 list like 5 comma 6 how like 4 dot next is 6 right so we send 5 comma 6 so next we get the comparison 5 less than 6 this is 2 right so 5 should point to the merge of null because list 1 is null right this time so we send null and because 5 dot next is obviously null here there is no other like this is the tail so we send null and 6 so this we arrived at the base case now we start processing the recursion stack so here we start sending the values we check the base case right if list 1 is null we return list 2 uh, like that value so that's why we return 6 here so now 6 will return and and the top of the stack we have this one right uh, 5 should point to the merge of list null comma 6 so here it points to the like what is the value of the merge of 2 list null comma 6 it returns 6 right so now 5 pointing to 6 and then on the top of stack we have the 4 point to the merge of 2 list 5 comma 6 so now like we have uh, like what is the merge of 5 comma 6 we have is a 5 pointing to 6 right so now 4 should point to the 5 point to the 6 so this is how like this base like we are solving the sub problems in, within that's all and then uh, on the top of the stack we have this one 3 should point to the merge of 2 list 5 comma 4 so we just have this 3 pointing to the whatever like sub problem solved before this one similarly now we have the top of the stack is 2 point to the merge list 3 comma 4 so 2 points to whatever above thing so and then at the end we have one should point to the merge of two list three comma two so one points to the basically uh, this one and that's how we got the final merge list which is in the sorted order let's look into the code explanation so here uh, as we discussed we're checking if uh, if not list one like basically we're checking if the list one is done uh, we return list two and then if not list two so if list two is none we return list one so this is the base cases and then uh, we are uh, checking of the comparing the values of the list one and list two so if list one value is less than list two value as we see here we send uh, we point the list one dot next to the merge of two list uh, which we send like list one dot next because list one uh, current node is processed right so we should send the list one dot next and the list two as is since list 2 is not processed like we, we haven't picked this value we picked this value here so that's why we pointing the next value of the list one and then we return the list one here so in other case where list one value is greater than the list two's value uh, we point the list two's dot next to the uh, like merge of two lists like which we send the list one as is here and then list two dot next because we picked the list two of current value right that's why and then we return the list two so here uh, complex analysis so time complexity here is O of n plus m where m and n are the length of the list L1 and N2. And then uh, we have space complexity O of m plus n. So this is due to the recursive call stack. This is iterative method. So here uh, let's look into the algorithm. So first we initialize a dummy node to act as a start of a new merge list. Maintain a current pointer pointing to the dummy node. While both list one or list two are not empty, we do the following things. We compare the list uh, values like at the current node of list one and list two, and then we append the smaller value to the merged list. And then we move the current pointer to the appended node. So after that, we move the pointer in the list from which the smaller node was taken, similar to your recursive approach. And then uh, we check if either list one or list two is not empty. Because like we, we exit the loop, right? When uh, both like list one and list two are not, empty that case broke down now uh, so there should be one of the uh, list one or list two empty so if there is a case where uh, if there is a case where either list one or list two is not empty we append the remaining elements to the merge list so at the end we return the next node of the dummy node as the head of the merge link list so let's look at the flowchart so here uh, we start by checking uh, like if both lists are non-empty if s we process this like this is like uh, we check if list one value is less than list two's value if s we append the list one node to the merge list 
and then we move the list one pointer because we pick the list one element right so we should move the pointer in the list one and then uh, we move the current pointer like this is the in the merge list we move the current pointer and then uh, we repeat the process so in the case where list one uh, value is greater than the list two's value what we do is like we append the list two to the uh, merge list and then we move to the list two's pointer and then in this case also we move the current pointer because th this current pointer is like regardless of these two right because this is the uh, merge list current pointer so in the case where both lists are not empty like it means like one of the lists is empty what we do is like we check if list one is not empty then uh, like we do like append the uh, remaining list nodes to the merge list so in other case like if list one is empty then we append the remaining list to nodes and then we return the merge list so let's look into the diagram here so let us define the dummy node here uh, I'm pointing with I'm representing the dummy node with hashtag here show this one so dummy uh, node and uh, we should initialize the current node as well so we represent this dummy and the current node with hashtag so now uh, as a, as per our algorithm what we do is we compare the values of the list one and list two right each time so we while comparing we see that like both values are same like we took the uh, list one is elements are one two four and list two elements are one three four so here uh, we are using the dummy and current uh, nodes because uh, like we want to keep catch hold of the head of the merged list and then current node to process the current iteration so here uh, let's have this uh, like we have this current node pointed to hashtag so uh, as per our algorithm we pick the smallest of the two so this points to uh, one now and then we check this uh, like in the next iteration uh, we have is the list one's smallest element is picked right so uh, it is moved to two now so we have this these two elements to compare now so now obviously we pick the smallest element or smallest node here so that is one and then we process this one and we move to this one so now we have these two to compare so obviously we pick the smallest one again that is the two here so now we move this pointer and then we have the three and four so and then uh, we move this one so now we have four and four so uh, it is same right so we just pick the four from the first list and then this goes to null like this this is the tail so this points to null now and then uh, well, like now this is the case where like both lists are n like one of the lists is empty so now uh, in this case we just append the whatever remaining list to the merge list so we just point it to the list to whatever now left now so we pointing to the four even if there is something like four five six here we would have pointed to just this one because like this would have the reference to the five and six right so that's why we just pointed to the whatever links uh, like this um, current dot next to the uh, list two so let's look into the code so firstly we are uh, making a dummy node here so here we are initializing the dummy to the list node and then uh, we point in the current to the dummy so we want this dummy to catch hold of our head uh, because we have to written the head of the linked list right uh, so where is in the current to process the iterations so here we are checking if list 1 and list 2 are not empty so if not empty we perform our comparisons here like firstly we check if list 1 value is less than list 2's value so if that is the case we just make the current dot next point to the list 1 and then uh, list 1 uh, to list 1 dot next because we have to uh, we pick this element of the uh, linked list uh, we have to process the next element of this one so we pointing this to the next so here in the other case or other uh, like where the list one value is greater than the list two's value uh, we choose the list two's value as a current node and then we make the list two uh, to point to the next node basically so that's why we're doing list two is equal to list two dot next uh, so and then after that we have to prepare the current for the next iteration that's why we making the current is equal to current dot next so at the end like uh, somewhere we get like list one or list two becoming null in that case we point the current dot next to the list one if list one is not null else in other case if list one is null we point to the list two even if both list one and list two are null this uh, covers it because like obviously like if both are null it should point to the null and then at the end we return the uh, dummy dot next because we, we don't have any node uh, like any value for the dummy node so we sh this dummy dot next is pointed to the head of the uh, newly formed linked list 
that's why we written the dummy dot next so let's look into complexity analysis so here the time complex is o of m plus n where uh, m and n are the length of the list one and list two space complexity here is o of one since there is no additional space uh, proportional to the input size is used demo on conclusion so i got the code ready here let's try submitting them so i have used the like uh, each method to represent the each approach we have so firstly let's submit the recursion approach see here uh, this accept the solution and now Let's cover the iteration approach. So yeah, this also acts solution. Conclusion. So both the recursive and iterative approaches efficiently uh, merge to a uh, sorted link less. The iterative method is generally preferred for its constant space complexity, while the recursive method is more elegant and easier to understand. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Hack Code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and problem solving tips. If you have any questions or suggestions for the future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.